Good evening, Sunday afternoon. I was just laying around doing nothing, watching TV, relaxing. And I decided I wanted to go out and do something, but my phone is not charging right. So I just decided to stay in the house and do something. But there's something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I'm, I'm a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs. And I want to say this right off the bat. My opinions are my opinions. I don't represent nobody but myself in my opinions. But it's in the news that some fans had to have their fingers and toes amputated after suffering frostbite. After, due to being out in extreme weather for long periods of time, supporting professional games. I heard about the story of the fans that froze to death outside of someone home. They say they didn't know they was out there. A lot of people speculated about this story, but I don't know. But is anything worth sacrificing even your fingers and toes, is anything worth voluntarily, unnecessarily? Losing body parts? You're going to suffer frostbite willingly for Temporary enjoyment? Can somebody please help me understand that? I have always questioned. I be ask, I ask my wife all the time. I talk to her all the time about pro football. Why are some stadiums indoor? You know what I'm saying? With the uh, Astro turf. And some are outdoor, real, you know what I'm saying? Indoor, outdoor. Why is that? Why, I, I asked, I said, why are all NFL stadiums are not built where they can, won't have to be exposed to extreme climates? If seem like to me, if some teams can have indoor retractable roof stadiums and stuff like that, why can't all of them have it? We live in, in 2024. I understand when the sport was first event, you know, eventing and stuff like that, but Even play, what I'm saying, even players. Why should they have to play in extreme weather? Whether this weather is hot, extremely hot, or extremely cold. Then fans are willing. I know it's voluntarily stuff like that, but come on. I know, you know, the responsibilities relies is solely on people, what they do. We can open the stadium and invite you in. You can buy your tickets and stuff like that, you know, but you decide. 
It's on you whether you come and sit in this weather through this game. People lost fingers and toes over a football, a professional football game that they don't receive, they don't get anything out of winning a championship so only just bragging rights. The fans don't. Maybe they gamble here and there. But still, you don't have to subject yourself to extreme weather. You gonna pack an outdoor? You gonna? That's why I tell my wife too. I said I don't understand people, but go pay large amounts of money to go to a, to go sit in an outdoor stadium to freeze to death in more cases. And burn up. People do suffer from uh, heat exhaustion. Too much sun at them at them outdoor event, pro. Uh, Sports. You can't have a, 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 a watch the game at your home in comfort. You can't watch the game at the sports bar or whatnot. Where you can, you know, it, I just don't see the sense in going spending lots of money to buy a ticket to go to a game to freeze to death or either burn up. I'm not against going to a game and stuff like that, but I'm the type of person, I'm not really one of those who are really too quick to want to subject myself to traffic. <laughs> too much traffic. I don't like that. Here in North Mississippi, where I live, they have concerts up there at uh, Landry Center, Center all the time. And they sit right next to the interstate, I-55. Then you have U.S. Highway 51 that run north and south. So the Landry Center sit in between US 51 and I 55 in South Haven. They always have something going on, whether it be comedy shows, music concerts, uh, all sorts of stuff. Year round, that place is booked. Farrah come there. They have blues concerts. They have all sort, all genre of music concerts. Comedy. And I see that traffic. I hate to get caught up in it sometimes. I, I be praying that when I go through there, ain't nothing going on. I seen that traffic bagged up, trying to get off right, right there at Church Road. They be bagged all the way up to Chevy Drive in Memphis, trying to get off there. So I'm not the one who we too thrilled to go sit in traffic. And I'm definitely not the one who going to go spend some money to buy a ticket to freeze the deal in an outdoor stadium just to, just to be, just to sit there and watch a team. People, multiple people just had their fingers and toes amputated due to a frostbite. Is it worth it? Is it worth it sacrificing yourself for a thrill of a win? Our priorities 
in the United States are backwards, 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 backwards. Uh, ducks, grown folks. It was quite a few of them people. A lot of them people. There's a lot of people in Kansas City. <laughs> Kansas City area. Kansas City sit right there on the state line. Kansas City, you got what now? Well, yeah. Missouri and Kansas. So, you got people. All within probably about 200 miles of that radio of that Kansas City. Walking around. <laughs> it ain't funny. It's not funny. But I'm not laughing at the people. But there's a lot of people out in that area missing fingers and toes. Due to sitting outside watching a game. I don't care how many clothes you put on or what you put on, fingers and stuff. You can put on a whole bunch of clothes and stuff and try to insulate yourself. But if you sit still for a long period of time, your fingers and toes are going to get cold. Most like most time, your fingers depends on how cold the weather is. Now you know a lot. Of, I see. I have seen over years where people be outside in the cold weather. With no shirts on at them games. No clothes, period. How foolish is that? In the winter, Buffalo, up there in them Buffalo area, up north where it get real cold, outdoor stadium, no fans be up there. Is it really that serious? Or is it something I'm missing? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. Come on in. Come on. I'm talking about what you think about people losing their fingers and toes over their game, over their football games. Did you hear about that? The people out there in Kansas City had their toes and fingers amputated because of frostbite. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What you think about that? Not over some games. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know God of this. Is it worth it? No, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You my suddenly special guest. <laughs> I don't know why I got suddenly special guest. Come on, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, you know. Let, now, I was just saying. I had talked to you in the past about people, uh, even about the outdoor sports arena. You know? Yeah. Uh, some have indoor retractable roofs. Yeah. And some don't. I like why all of them can't have the same. Special yeah. nowadays. That way it won't put a team at a disadvantage. Yeah. It, it, is, it, is it rigged that way? Or is it just something? Them diehard fans like it like that. Well, they think that's football. Yeah, you know, I, in the elements and the weather, they like it. Like yeah, it. I remember a lot of them history mm -hmm. game or uh, what the Green Bay or mm -hmm. the Ice Bowl and that and all them. But is it is it really worth because you have players players that suffer? Yeah, extreme heat is off. Yeah, some can't play in the cold weather. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they get paid. Bottom line, they get paid, and they have more events yeah. when they are like you see them on the sideline when it's hot doing the something they outdoor. They have big old ice fans and stuff. Yeah. Then when it's cold, they have the heaters. They have heaters in them, yeah. big old insulated, and they constantly moving though. Yeah. 
But when you go and sit in the fan in the stands, what four hours tops? Cause you most time you had to get there early mm-hmm. before the game start. Yeah. So they sort of sit what four hours in one place. Maybe get up and go to the restroom here and there, but yeah. but you freezing. But true, I just said a minute ago. I see a lot of people on TV at them games like Buffalo up north. And, they be out there with no shirts and stuff. I was just saying, they, be, they be in the alley. What possessed people to go out there and they do stuff like that no. for for a thrill? The you gonna put some? You willing to put common sense aside for a temporary thrill? Just to say I was there in the show. Then and this is what the result is. Now I don't. It you know for them people to lose get to suffer frostbite. I guess the temperature. I don't. I remember uh, it wasn't the Super Bowl game. Well, it was, or was it the Super Bowl game? Mm, it was playoff. Yeah, the playoff. They played the Super Bowl out mm-hmm. there once or mm-hmm. But it had to be extremely cold. Mm-hmm. Now I hunt. I'm used to hunting. I go and deer, get in deer stand. You can see it depend if it, if it cold as you get around here. What thirties, low twenties. I mean, we get negative every yeah. once in a while, but not a lot. If if you if you don't have your fingers and toes correctly covered, right? Mm-hmm. You go get in a deer stand and sit outdoor. You can probably sit there for about an hour and take it. Yeah. Yeah, but you gonna but not long after you sit down in that stand, if you're not properly covered, just say you wear a medium clothes. Well, just say you wear the right cover off, but your hands not. Properly covered mm-hmm. with it. You can sit there. It'll probably take you about, once you sit down and get comfortable, you probably be all right for about an hour or so. But after a while, you're going to start feeling that cold in your yeah. finger. And you can take it for a while, but it, it don't really get extreme cold. But sometimes it do get cold where you just can't sit and you have to get up and go because before yeah. your hands free to do. You know what I'm saying? Your hand gonna let you know when it start. Yeah. Can't move. Yeah. So yeah. it's gonna let you know for so, frostbite sitting, you know, and yeah. then but you know when you go to a game field, you know that the temperature is already cold. Temperature gonna drop at night, they go out there. So you know at what point that how how much you can should expose yourself. Yeah. Before you do damage. You think no people knew that? Yeah. Because, I mean, even the game even was postponed once. And then they wanted to cancel, but the fans didn't want it. They wanted it. Yeah. So. No, I'm not knowing what, I'm what not in no way faulting the, the, the uh, sports. Yeah. Because I said that earlier, you know, mm-hmm. people do they what they want to do. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they selling tickets and drawing people. Yeah. It should be. That's why I understand in today's time we're living in, football stadiums should be a change of a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like if all of them should have indoor stadium yeah. with retractable roof. That way, well, nobody be exposed to the elements. Yeah. If, I mean, if you, if some teams can do it, all teams should do it. And they should be made doing it. But they just, you know, they keep building some stadiums. Is SoFi Stadium indoor? It ain't indoor. That's like the newest stadium they done built in California. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I think it's, I think it's retractable roof. So them newer stadium they build now, they are pretty much in, indoor, right? Semi, yeah. yeah. So why can't all of them go to that? Mm-hmm. Look like all of them should have went to that about almost about twenty years ago. But I don't know. But wrong people need to. Make better choices. Come on, get in the mic. Talk. What you gonna lay down for? Okay. They can't hear you though. You trying to stay out? And <laughs> worry about 
you kill me. <laughs> this a topic. Do, uh, do they did they not know that they was spending too much time for you to get frostbite and had to have your fingers and stuff amputated? You have to know, shouldn't you? that mean your hands and stuff had froze pretty much froze, right? They do, and they had the ability to leave. That's like putting your hand in a bucket of ice water. Yeah, they do. And just leaving it there way past till you just go numb, right? Yeah. They do. Just holding it there. Way past numbing. You know what I'm saying? You can stick your hand in ice water and it can go it can go numb and you feel it. So but you, once it started to go numb and get the first sign of your hand going numb and stuff, it was stiffening up and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know. Tingling. Yeah. Yeah. But you put it out and you can eventually go back to normal. Mm -hmm. But in order for, to get frostbite where you have to get amputated, that means you had to pretty much put your hand in that bucket of ice water and leave it there way past the warning signs, right? Yeah, the element uncovered. Yeah, too long. Yeah. Yeah. Way past the time you knew you should have pulled it out. You don't. You don't. All the warning signs, all the one done passed, and you don't just. You an hour in and just leave it. That would have seemed like to me. But you had to turn around a few days later. Your fingers and stuff done started rotting it off. People, you know what I'm saying? If, some people, when you get stranded, then there's a reason, you know what I'm saying, to, to endure frostbite. Yeah. But going to a football game or doing something like that ain't never a reason to sacrifice yourself to frostbite. <laughs> you know. Now, we're... With your insurance, with, with with life insurance, I know a lot of people have life insurance when they have causes and stuff like that. They lose a finger, they lose did Would that cover something like that? It depends on the policies. It depends on the policies. Depends on the policies. Most of them will not. Be. Yeah, cause they gonna ask. They gonna before they insurance come or whatever before they dish out in the money. They gonna investigate and see exactly what happened on most cases, right? Well, what was the call? Well, I went to a football game and I stayed there. So you volunteered, suffered false bite, but you won't. Well, you can't cover this. I don't know. I don't know how strength. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But I'm sure they're gonna have to. They're gonna investigate before they just say okay. The insurance company ain't feeling willing to give up nothing. Not too quick. But yeah, I just wanted to cover this because I've been thinking about it. Ain't no sports worth suffering. Extreme exhaustion, especially from the fan standpoint. People go out there in a hundred and some degree, Tim, and sit there through sport and have that sun beaming on them. And get uh sunburn and what they call it, heat exhaustion, heat strokes. You can get a heat stroke sitting in the, in the, and not doing nothing, just sitting down. So I just wanted to cover that and just get and put that out there because I don't understand how people will volunteer and go lose fingers and arms over a hour thrill. When it's over with, you got to suffer. I guess a lot of people don't wear well, just fingers and arms, fingers and toes. But still, I don't want to lose fingers or toes unless I absolutely have to. I seen a story where people get their hands and stuff caught up. I just saw a story where a woman got both her arms caught under under a hood. She was trying to j uh, jump start a car, and the thing gave away. The only way she got her arms out, she had to peel her skin off. 
Could you imagine that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, you have to peel your own arm off. Now, speaking of frostbite, I know a guy that lost his hand, uh, his fingers on one of his hands years ago in a hunting accident. He got in a tree stand. He had a rope. He had it, he was climbing a climbing the tree stand and had a, a safety rope and had his hand in it. He said the, the stand, the wooden stand or whatever collapsed and gave away. And left him hanging. The only thing he was hanging by was the rope and his hand in the rope. And he had to pull his fingers off, pull his hand. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You know the person I'm talking about? Yeah. He said if he didn't pull his hand, then nobody know where he, know he was, where he was at. And he didn't want to spend the night and suffer frostbite and stuff like that. So his only result was to pull his fingers off. It's the only thing to save his life, do he feel. Man, but people will go out there and voluntarily sit through something like that. When you have sports, balls, all sorts of places you can watch the game. Now you go watch a game in an outdoor stadium, then you got to get up and go to the bathroom, fight your way through folks, <laughs> coming back, going, and, you know, just to sit back down. I mean, I'm not against going. I know I like not against people going. Go here, have fun, but use caution. Extreme weather, don't sit there and suffer through it. Get out of there. Use common sense. Don't give up your body parts or don't give up your life unless it's the only other choice. Don't sacrifice nothing unless it's the only other choice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no sporting event worth losing anything over. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs>